Hello everyone, good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you may be in the day. Welcome to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are going to do another episode of Prop Circle which is my propagation series on my channel where we just talk about all things propagation. I give you updates on my plants, uh, etc. I actually, oh my goodness, you guys would not believe, I deleted two entire episodes of this. That's why it's been so long since I've done one. I wanted to do it every two weeks and it's been like two months since I've posted one. Well, maybe not that long, but pretty long. So that was thoroughly annoying, but here we are. We're just gonna pick up where we left off. I think today we are going to just go through my propagations. I probably have some that, I know I have some that need to be potted up. I'm kind of bad at taking a bunch of propagations and then just leaving them and then a bunch of them pile up that I need to do something with. So we're just gonna check in with everyone today <laughs> and see how everyone is doing. Um, I did add a couple more cuttings to the propagation box, which is was one of the lost episode footages. What am I saying? Um, anyways, sorry this intro is so long. <laughs> I am just making coffee. So I am going to brew myself a cup of coffee and then we are going to check out some of my propagations. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost forgot about my exciting announcement and that is that I have merch. So I am actually wearing my merch today, which is so crazy. Um, yes, so my merch is totally launched now. There are t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, mugs, stickers, um, probably some other stuff as well. So go check it out if you're interested. A bunch of you have already tagged me on Instagram with your orders and oh my gosh, I just cannot wait to see everyone wearing this. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll try to show you a little better what it looks like. So I am wearing the black long sleeve and it has the logo in the corner. I have it tucked into my jeans. It's longer than this, but I have, it has the logo just like on the, what is this, the side? I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then this was actually an older draft, so it doesn't have anything on the back, but the ones that are online, and I'm waiting for my new one now, but the ones that you guys will be getting actually have a design on the back as well, and I think that they're so cute. The t-shirts and the hoodie also have the design on the back as well, and I intentionally put the design on like the top half of the back so that if you want, you can crop them. I think I'm gonna crop one and wear it to the gym, so yeah, I'm just like so stoked. So please check it out, let me know what you guys think, and there's definitely gonna be like more designs for the future. I'm just so excited. Um, yeah, and I'm just like so stoked that it's gotten such a positive response so far, so yeah. Oh, I'm actually gonna put my coffee in my mug. Look at how cute, you guys. Like, I'm obsessed, I love it so much. So yeah, okay, sorry. Oh my gosh, this, this intro was so long, I'm sorry. Okay, let me go make my coffee now. Okay guys, so I came out to my living room. I'm sitting on the floor to film this because the sun is out today and that doesn't happen very often. So we're taking full advantage and yeah, okay. Let's check out what, let's look through my propagation boxes first, maybe. Okay, so I have these here, a uh, bunch of other stuff over there. Maybe I'll move these out of the direct sun because it might be kind of hard. Oop, maybe, oh my goodness. Wow, we have a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, this, let's open this first. This is just a small, this guy has been in here for months and months, honestly like five months. This is, oh man, what even is this again? I wanna say Hoya fungi, but is that right? Not sure. Anyways, this has been in here as a wet stick for um, yeah, like I said, like five months and it put out two leaves while in this Ziploc container and I'm, honestly, I want to put him into a little container. I don't know if I'll put him in soil or leave him in sphagnum, but I just want to get him out of this Ziploc. So I'm just going to put him to the side for now, but he's doing really well and I just, I, I can't believe I was shocked when he started putting out leaves. I don't have a lot of experience with wet sticks until recently, I guess. Um, I mean, I still don't have a lot of experience, but I've been experimenting with them more recently. Oh, this leaf is completely dead. Um, and I absolutely love it. I actually just purchased two Amiterium wet sticks or two nodes, I guess. And um, I'm gonna get that on the weekend, but I'm really excited because it's just a much more affordable way to um, get different plants. So 
you know, wish me luck. So speaking of wet stick, this is my, basically my wet stick propagation box um, that I just throw a bunch of vines into. So um, in my footage that got deleted, unfortunately, I did pot up a Cebu Blue that was in here with tiny leaves. And I potted up an, oh, what was it? What was it? Oh, a Skindapsis that was in here. So I'm gonna see if there's anything else. Ooh, I might be able to pot up this out in Sonia. It looks like it has a big root check that juicy root out oh my gosh oh man roots are so satisfying to me like wow amazing okay i think that we can pot this guy up you guys yay add in sony eye baby it's exciting okay maybe i'll just put them to the side the ones i want to pot up what about this there's a little root there but i think i want it to get a little bigger so I'll keep him in here for a little while longer basically once I see them put out a couple of leaves I feel confident in potting them up so there's nobody else really with any any substantial leaves so I think everyone else can stay in here for a little while oh this isn't really doing anything do I want to leave that or should I take it out all right, so that's good. Everyone looks like pretty good. And every so often I come and dig in here and find a couple new things I can pot up and it's just really exciting. So yeah, that's the first one. Okay, so this is the second propagation box. This has more of like nice cuttings, I guess. Um, thing, things that have leaves and aren't just wet sticks. So in the footage that got deleted, I potted up, um, what did I pot up? Oh, the Tradescantia. There was Tradescantia in a nook in here before. And holy crap, you guys. Okay, I see why people just say that you can um, put the cuttings right back into the pot because they do not need to be propagated. <laughs> like they, the roots were pretty much taking over this whole thing. I had to like, they pulled up like this whole box. Um, so that's why the Tradescantia aren't in here anymore. But I added some Hoya Polyneura and I'm really curious to see how it's doing. It's been in here for a couple of weeks, I would guess. And let's see if there's any roots yet. It feels like there is. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can see it. I can see a little root there. Ah, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I... Um, actually took this cutting because I know my friend Courtney wants Hoya Polyneura. And I'll probably take a couple more cuttings from my Polyneura, but I just wanted to make sure that I had one going. And then I can either send her this one or send her one that I root up in the future. We shall see. But just to, you know, have it on hand. And I also, last time I was in here, added a Hoya Shepardi eye cutting. And let's see, is this, which way is the bottom? Oh, the, oh, there's a tiny, there's a tiny root, tiny, tiny baby root starting, you guys. This is the first time I have propagated my Hoya uh, Shepardi eyes, so yeah, that's good to see. Oh, it looks like there's some more roots up here as well. Definitely leave it in here for longer though. That's a very small root Now what I'm thinking is that a lot of these things that we looked at in episode one are going to be ready to be repotted um, So I'm sure a lot of these Cebu blue cuttings. I'm sure that those will be ready and This Hoya look at that linears look at the roots everywhere That's probably gonna be ready to be potted and I have Hoya rotunda flora So I'm just gonna pull everything out of here and we're gonna take a look you guys
Okay, so now the sun is too much. I've had to like move around, but this is as good as it's gonna get. So I am going to pot up all of these cuttings that, the ones that had roots that I showed you, I'm going to pot them all up. I've grabbed a variety of different pots so we can kind of see uh, which one's gonna work for which plant. I have these tiny, tiny little terracotta pots that I think I'm going to put the Hoya linearis and the Hoya rotundiflora into. Um, yeah, they're so stinking cute. And then the others are probably just gonna go in these regular plastic pots. We'll see. But maybe let's do the Hoya first because they're so cute. going to cut this because there's too much space in between these to really fit it into a nursery pot so I'm just gonna cut and then this will be its own wet stick propagation I'm just gonna put it back in the box and then I'm gonna trim a little bit and then I will just plant this one with the leaves because it's got a substantial root on its own there anyways oh I forgot about my Hoya fungi. I'm just doing this over the soil bin so that I don't make a big mess everywhere. I don't usually put anything to block the drainage holes of nursery pots.
All right, guys, so here they are all repotted. They all look so cute. The Hoya over here, adorable. And then my Cebu Blue, beautiful. Adansonii, Skindapsis, Pictus Argerius. Really happy to have all of those potted up now. I think now I'm going to show you how the rest of my propagations are doing and just kind of talk about them a little and give an update. And then I probably won't be repotting them in this video because I have a feeling it's already going to be getting a little bit long. So let's just take a look at them and see how they're doing. Okay, so these are my water propagations that I have going. Um, Hoya Bella has quite a lot of roots in there now. I've actually been putting Super Thrive in some of my water propagations, so since I started doing that, I really saw the roots explode, especially on this one. So that'll probably be ready for me to repot um, in a hot minute. And then this is a Hoya Crimson Queen. It's just like a one leaf vine that I've had in my kitchen forever. Um, it's finally getting some substantial roots though, so that's cute. I actually brought this one out because I think I'm just going to pop it into this pot with this one because there's only like the two leaves on this one anyways, so we can make it a little bit fuller. I'll probably do that later on. Variegated Maranta um, with a lot of roots here. This really needs to be potted up. I'll probably do that later as well. But these are just so easy to propagate, you guys, and they grow so fast. I have a, like a lot, a lot, a lot of variegated Maranta babies. Um, I'm probably going to be selling them locally pretty quick here. But yeah, I just love, you guys know this is one of my all-time favorite plants. So it's just amazing that it's so easy to propagate as well. Like look at her roots in there. My goodness. That looks so cool. Amazing. And then... Lemon Lime Ranta, another plant that I really love. Um, also super, super easy to propagate and a fast grower. And this can be potted up anytime as well. Actually, pretty, you guys, pretty much all my propagations need to be potted up. <laughs> These are some of my begonias. This is the Brazilian Lady. Um, Benigo Pink and Linda Dawn and these all really really need to be potted up. They've been in there for months So I'm gonna do that later today as well We have I have honestly like 30 things that need to be potted up today you guys So obviously that's why I'm not gonna have time to do more than those ones in this video, but Yes, I just did want to show you how well everything had rooted up. These are my water propagations so this is my variegated string of hearts rooted up really well in there um this is my regular string of hearts and i checked it um a couple of weeks ago and it didn't have any roots at all i almost took it out and threw it away but then i noticed that it started to root up so it's getting quite a few roots in there as well which is awesome and then oh i have more cebu blue i should have put those in the pots i just did i guess i'll have another pot of them um the roots look fantastic on these guys as well and then oh i totally forgot about this linearis as well oh my goodness this is one of my favorite hoya of all time so i'm more than happy to have another pot of this guy but um it's rooted up really well in there also if it will focus there you can see some of the roots there Okay guys, I think that is all I'm going to do on camera for today. I have quite a lot of plant work to do. Um, I guess I'm just trying to catch up with these propagations right now because I am going to be moving in a couple of weeks. So, so I just wanted to get them all potted up and ready to go. And then I have a whole batch of plants that I'm just gonna sell on Facebook, just locally. So those will be gone and then these are going to be like my new batch that I'll be growing, my new little babies that I'll be growing. If you guys are interested, I can make a video all about selling cuttings on Facebook, um, just kind of like my experience and what I do. Let me know if you would be, if you would like to see that. Other than that, yes, I have just got my work cut out for me today. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and kind of catching up on my propagations with me. If you are interested in my merch, I will have it linked down below. So please go check it out. I would appreciate it so, so much. Thank you so much to everyone that has purchased it already. I just can't even believe. It's so exciting. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more planty content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.